Thank you for joining me. Today, I'm going to show you how to paint this a very simple still life of two red peppers. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, here's an exciting new reason for you to subscribe now. From here on, I will publish three new learning videos every week on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And on Sunday, the reference image for the video that most viewed and commented, I will upload it on YouTube for my subscribers to download. How to subscribe? Click the subscribe button below this video. I will give you five seconds before we start the painting. You know, I use exclusively the brushes from Enjoying Art. Order yours today at enjoyingart.com brushes. I'm going to use just a little bit light red color to do the drawing. Just tap, get a little red color. This is good enough. Okay, before you put any mark on the paper, let's do a little uh, deciding with your finger. Okay, if the end of the green stem over here, and that way, the end of the red pepper should be here, right? And this will be coming over here, that decided on one. And the, the bottom one should be a little bit lower. So I'm going to put the mark over here. Decide one thing at a time. So you don't need to be panic. Okay, only one thing at a time. Okay, right over here, right? And then this may be just a little bit higher. And then the green stem would be all the way like this. And you may be thinking about, wait, 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 wait. You put the red there. There's no worry. Okay. And everything has all three colors. So here you go. The top over here. And then coming to this side. Okay. About here. The top over here. Like that. And then the green stem up over here and coming down about like that. Okay, and I'm gonna think about that the two body of the pepper is about right. I think we're gonna have this coming all the way to here and then a little below the gap over here. And then depends, depends on how much gap you want. I might probably, probably have a little bit more gap if you want. And the pepper. And you can change the shape of the pepper, pepper if you want. Okay. If you're not comfortable yet with the brush directly draw with watercolor, you can just use the conventional way. Use uh, the graphite pencil. But make sure you erase. Uh, anything that you don't need before you start the painting, okay? Otherwise, the graphite pencil mark, it always have uh, some extra textures add to the artwork, unless you like it. Okay, this is pretty good. We already done. Um, pretty good idea. And I think it can be still a little bit higher okay decide on that i'm gonna have a little bit more red now get a little bit more serious i'm gonna have this a little bit higher right that's good and coming over here a little bit higher like that beautiful and coming this just a little bit higher and right here like that all the way down like this that's good. And now I'm going to have this a little bit higher as well. Okay. A little bit higher. A little bit to the left. That's good. Like that. Okay. Don't be afraid of that. It's okay. Now I'm going to have this coming back over here. And the end, it will be here. Can be come back a little bit more to the left side. That's good. Like that, right? Okay, this is a little bit thicker. Think about the proportion. And we're gonna have 
a class for a member about measuring, and I going to tell you more details about measuring. Okay, here you go. It's them. Go be sitting over there, and then take a look at over here. Oh, the gap like that. Oh, pretty good. Now it's getting more and more clear. The composition. Everything start from the whole idea of a painting. What is the whole idea of the painting called composition? Okay. So if you don't, you want to have a full control over what you're doing in the painting. That start from the composition. This is good. Now, anything you feel like, oh, something I don't want to keep. Now, you just do the erasing with the flat brush. Okay. Just use the water. You can soften it. This is called erasing. Erase it with the water. That's good. All right. It's good enough. Okay, I'm going to use a little tissues and then blot it off. Take it out. So make it don't don't wrap the paper. Okay, just pull the tissues on and just lift up the wet. That's is good. Now we're going to be ready to painting. And I'm going to first paint the cat shadow. Because I don't want to paint the, the, the red pepper and then putting the, um, the wet under. It may be losing too much the shape. Well, either way, you can do it. But today I'm going to try to do the cast shadow first. I always do the object, then the cast shadow, right? So I'm going to do the whole thing with the color. Like it start from the top. Right now, just water, right? Coming down like this. I can have a little blue if you want to. Okay, in the top over here, I can have just a little blue if you want to do that. Okay. That's just fine. I'm going to paint it around the red pepper if you want to. So make the, the white highlight on the pepper look uh, even lighter. Okay, I'm going to paint it around over here. Here you go. Getting onto the wet, onto the pepper, that's just okay too. Okay, don't worry too much. I'm going to just wet this, have this like a wet into wet. Uh, the outside space. This is good. Like that. Alright. Good. Now the next thing I'm going to do. I'm going to apply. See the cast shadow here. Very soft. But you can make it darker if you want to. Too. Okay. Uh, on this side you can see a little uh, red uh, reflection from the object onto back to the uh, the table the background right so I'm gonna have a little bit cool color okay a little bit cool color okay not much a little bit start over here on this side okay have a little bit cool color and a little cool color down over here like that it just have a little bit contrast uh, with the warm and cool right okay, get rid of those wet like that coming down here and next thing I'm going to still have a little bit oh, I don't have to be have that much gray color so I'm going to have a little red at the front over here a little bit red okay and also have a little red over here too like that okay wonderful so far and don't need that much. Just use the brush. Uh, leave it. Okay. Now I'm going to have a little bit uh, darker for the cast shadow. And that will be blue and red color. Okay. These two colors make it a little gray. 
Okay, here you go. That's as good. A little bit more red. A little bit more red. Just use the the side, the edge. Okay, just take a little color. That's as good. And I want to take a look. And because we don't have the pepper over here yet, so we don't really know our in comparison how dark the color supposed to be. So we're gonna just gonna pull the dark color over here and put it from here down. And we're gonna see how it look. Lead the color through like that. This is good. And on the front over here. Okay, not yet. We're gonna need to use this color continue onto here. And just use the corner of that. Okay. Like that. And let it have a little feeling of catch the shadow. This is okay. Now I'm gonna take a little red at the front over here. Mix into it, but I don't want too much water. Okay, too much water is going to run too much. So I'm gonna take this color a little bit more red than the blue on this side. I'm gonna just put it right here. We use the just the corner of this and put it down. It may be even darker. So I'm gonna get a little bit more red, a little bit more blue, right? A little bit more. That's good. Perfect. Let go. Excess wet. Here you go. Tap on it. You got that's the beautiful catch the shadow. Okay. And on this side, I'm gonna make this a little bit darker too. Okay, like that. That's good. And I'm going to uh, let go a little bit over here. I don't like this kind of texture at the end. I just, the brush just remove excess wet. And that's good. I'm just going to put it to that, this down and just soften this texture. You see how easy, right? I'm going to just go through here a little bit softer like that. That's pretty good. I'm going to do that over here too. Don't need that much wet over here. I'll let go of that. Okay. And on this side, I'm going to just also lift up a little bit. This is a lifting when this is wet, right? So I'm going to have this also soften that outside. Don't use too much water. That's good. I'm going to have this too. Lift it up. Okay. Now the background looks pretty good and I might do a little bit more and let's do a little bit more when this is still wet now I'm gonna use the calligraphy brush I'm gonna open it like a small flat brush and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna get a little red and I take a look a little red okay this is compared to that color it's pretty dry and now uh, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put that right here. See that, right here. It's still wet, that's good. Wet, that's good. Coming right under here. That's a little bit darker over here, on the edge here. Okay, that's as good. A little bit wet, okay. This side, a little bit better, that's just fine. And actually, I'm gonna just use the, the clean, brush again okay and I'm gonna do this remove some of their shape down over here it's okay you don't have to do that uh, if you don't want to take that risk you can just leave it it is catch the shadow very unpredictable so this is good I'm gonna have this a little bit softer here too Okay, coming down like this. That's good. All right. We can start painting into the pepper. Okay, this already dried very quick, right? So I'm gonna start painting the top pepper and then I'm going down over here. Okay, I know the bottom's still a little wet, but give it a few minutes, it's gonna dry. So let's take some time for the top there, okay? Set, use the calligraphy brush. Since it looks just like red, I'm gonna just take the red color and here you go, like this. Just get more red. 
Okay, here we go. Now we'll put the sure after the drawing and take a look at right from here, going through. Okay, and put it down. This is beautiful red. Coming over here, we're gonna stop because there is a light shape, right? A right shape over there. And this mostly part coming down now. Just the red. I'm just just directly take the red and looking for what's the light shape. Okay. Be patient. Okay. Right shape over here. Okay, coming up here. And this is the shape. Coming down a little curve. An interesting curve like that. This is good. And the whole thing over here is just red. Keep coming down. But careful. But down over here is still probably too wet. So keep it away from that for now. Okay. Now take a look at the top over here. I'm going to see a little big shape. Skinny. It's called skinny shape. Like that. Okay. Take your time. Have fun. And doesn't need to be very straight. You can have a little bit more like a zigzag. Like a little bit look like a this shape of the saw like that is uneven at the bottom here, right? This is good. And the top over here have a little skinny shape like that. This is good. Now the bottom over here curving. Here you go. Now take a look the shape. That's keep coming. That's good. Stop over here. Like that. This is good. Don't overdo it. Observe thinking. Okay, here you go. Now I'm gonna have a little big reflection gap over there. Okay, change the shape, the direction of the brush. That's good. Leave a little gap over there. That's the bottom. Uh, leave a little bit light shape for the reflection. Now coming down over here. Just pay attention. Is it still too wet? You can stop. Okay. Now I can test it. It's almost dry. Good news. We don't have to wait too long. Okay. There, here we go. Coming down. Yeah. Think about recess that is this too thick, the shape or not. Okay. I'm going to leave the wet all the way onto this. Leave the wet over here. Now coming to the front here. Okay. This is good. We're going to see a little big shade at the top over here like that. That's good. And have a little, leave a little light shape over there. Okay, that's good. And then start, think about the angle. Turn this way and then down. That's good. Right, it's not hard just painting the shape with your brush, okay. Now take a look at and yeah, that's come out again and come in again like this. There you go. Now I'm gonna have this coming back in here. He filled in the whole shape. Now this is good. Let's do it. And that's a couple minutes already passed, right? So this is already pretty dry. So and my fingers is not really that wet. So I'm gonna have this. Here we go. Look at the shape. Look at where the brush reach. Okay, here we go. That's coming over. Here we go. Coming up a little bit and coming up over here. Like that. That's good. And I think this can come down a little bit more. Okay. Perfect. That's the shape. Of the pepper, when it's still wet, and you can take the advantage of that by having a little blue color. I'm gonna take a little bit blue, okay, and right in here, I'm gonna take a little red, make the color a little bit thicker, a little bit more blue, okay. This is good. Now we're gonna just put a little bit shadow right down over here, okay, like that, and here you go. A little bit darker right down over here now just tap on it so tap 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 and have the color a little bit softer like that a little bit softer like that that's good okay that's good 
and at the bottom over here a little bit darker as well okay this is good pretty simple very simple and just tap on it have maybe this is a little bit too dark so i'm going to start and change it to and just let go let go those so i'm going to just add a little bit red into the brush okay right over here like that so it's still my brush still have enough blue color okay so you don't have to add the blue you don't have to clean the brush i need to open this up a little bit like this here we go just tap on it tap tap like this look at that very simple now i'm going to tap on it so i have those color merge together a little bit also over here too doesn't need to be all red okay and the middle over here again i'm going to add a little bit more red to my brush so the brush have a little, little bit uh, darker darker red the darker than red you got to have blue right it's that simple i'm going to take the red again so you're adding the red to the color that combine in the brush right that's good like that pretty good now i'm gonna have this even a little bit lower like that tap on it simple okay tap on it and over here tap on it like that so now you can have the form look three dimensional okay and in fact over here i'm gonna have a little bit more red first take a little bit tiny tiny and then i can actually add this from here add this oh, oh, oh too much wet coming down i'm gonna get make it a little bit thicker just a little bit more red coming over here coming over so this side actually a little bit darker than the top okay like that there you go okay and look at it again i think the top over here can move it a little bit down this is good and let go those water keep coming down this is good all right pretty successful with the first pepper so we're going to let it be and ooh, and here is going to be about one of this a little bit more clear right we don't want it uh, to touch it right now because top over here wet the bottom wet is you gonna merge together <clears throat> so we're gonna leave it the way it is I'm gonna leave up the color over here as well this brush can be very soft so that so that it won't uh, wipe off any color on the top over here just get a little bit tiny tiny red okay so I'm gonna have this look like a very light red color connect up over here make it more convincing as the highlight okay that's beautiful just simple thing and take a look over here it can have a little bit tiny tiny a little pink color by using just the water soften that that's good have some connection take a little bit tiny tiny red over here like that okay all right we come back to the stem a little bit later and the top over here i'm going to light up just tiny a little bit that's good like that okay now we're going to work on the pepper at the bottom so just take the red color again start from this color leave the highlight okay it's very important leave the highlight here you go leave the highlight just painting the shape in the middle over here Okay, that's good. On this side, just use the other side of the brush. Just touch it and create the curve. And the side over here, that's a little bit broken over here. A little bit broken like that. That's just good. The good beginning. And the bottom over here has a little reflection. So I'm going to leave a little light over there. Now here you go. Look before you paint. Now this top over here can come up a little bit and look again okay be careful just look it's simple 
Okay, coming over here, all the way coming down, and all the way coming down, inch by inch. We talk about the drawing process, inch, inch by inch. In fact, a quarter inch by quarter inch sometimes, right? That's pretty good. Getting there, be patient. It just take half hours or one hour. You can get the painting done. And then I'm gonna coming from here, coming back, curve down over here, and keep going. And the bottom is the whole paper already drives, so no worry. So this can be a little bit thicker. I'm gonna have this, move it a little bit lower, like that. You can make any form you want, okay? This is the uh, organic shape. And coming over here, this is good. Uh, maybe have this even lower, like that. This is good. Uh, I'm going to divide that shape right, right over here. We're gonna leave that little highlight if you want to. So don't worry about it. If anything look darker, so you, it's okay just paint on top of that. Okay, painting organize the whole shape. Okay, coming over here and organize that, and then leave this light shape. This this light shape right over here, and then take a little dry brush in here like that. That's good. That's good. Divide that over. Okay, that's good. And then I'm gonna coming over here. Take a look, where is the highlight? The, the, the highlight over here. Okay, like that. Okay, leave a little highlight over here. Uh, we see a little shape like that over here that's divided into almost like a one third from the top to the bottom. And over here, it has a shape coming all the way here, like that. Okay, that's good. And then I have a little shape over here. Okay, leave some, a few skinny shape for light. Okay, here you go, like that. Here you go. Okay, and here you go, coming over here. That's good. All right, and when I have that, a little bit light a few dot like this now here's go the, the rest you can look for okay still looking for where's at the highlight okay right here okay here you go now I, over here I have a little bit highlight okay here you go like that I have a few highlight and the gap can be closer that's pretty good I can leave a little bit more if you want to okay be a little bit spontaneous okay that's good and then see there's another highlight over here okay put it close I'm gonna have this little gap under okay that's good a little light over here and a little light over here like that that's good all right and have a little gap over here, like this, have a little gap. Okay, just good, a little gap over here, as we see, there's a couple gap, uh, three, that's good, another over here. All right, having fun yet, this is good. You can have a little bit more or less, totally up to you. You can see that this is, Wait, if you shift your viewing angle, you can see more, you can see less, right? That's good. That's pretty good. Now we can organize this. Those are all together, all together, like that. Perfect. And next thing we are going to take a look at some need to be a little bit thicker red over here i'm gonna add just directly take the red coming over here that's good take the red directly okay right there that's just good 
now we are going there looking for the darker color or different tone right okay right here i'm gonna have a little bit gap to see there's a little bit light on the top okay that's good now Ooh, look at the top pepper. Looks as pretty did good. Now we're going to take the blue and the red together again. Think about how much water do you need. Right now it's look a little bit definitely it might be a little bit too much water. So take a look. And we're going to start over here. They have some catch the shadow onto the pepper. Okay, I'm gonna have this a little bit blue. Okay, like this, and right under here, we see a little bit blue. You can see the color darker than red. In this, the three color simple palette, it definitely going to be the blue, right? In fact, you put the blue color, it, it looks darker already. And here we go. Yeah, that's good. Beautiful. Okay, I'm going to have little bit more blue just the blue so don't adding too much water just i haven't touched the water in the last few minutes so you can just put that right tap on it let it wet into wet to go into the area that is wet on the top over here can be a little bit softer and in, in fact this color can be also affecting uh, the catch the shadow. We're gonna see. We can do that after, right? So here you go. Just keep adding that too, and add a little bit over here too. Okay, a little bit shape like that. This is good, and a little bit over here. And getting drive. This is good like that, and those line is those dot is under. Okay, keep going. Yes, a little shape over here. And coming the shape, another shape over here, and then the bottom have a little bit darker. And if it's darker than that, you can also add more blue, right? This is good. A little tap on it like that, and right under here. I'm gonna add just add the blue because this is a lot of red, but I want this very dark. So get the blue. See that? Beautiful. Okay, like this. Just add the blue in between the gap. Okay, over here, it seems like the darkest color of this pepper. Okay, right here, that's good. Great, and the top over here, more. Just put the blue color in. Okay, just put the color right there. That's good. Now I'm gonna come back over here. This also need the dark color, like that. And at the bottom, a little bit darker. And now I'm going to use a little bit mid-tone. Just use the, make the brush to be more like a flat. And then open this up. And just take this color a little bit lighter. Here we go. Now we're going to just tap on it to add a little bit texture. Like that. That's very, very simple. Like that. Here we go. If you feel like it does need a little bit thicker paint, or feel a little bit more solid and then you can add the color make it thicker at the bottom over here also a little bit lighter like that tap 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 on it that's good like that okay that's good now i'm gonna add a little bit more red in some spaces now i'm gonna do just gonna take the red color see that this color just pretty thick and put it back in here i'm going to make this less few dry and more uh softer like that here we go like this so not at the top okay that's also here a little big shadow a soft shadow like that and here you go make it a little bit more soft transition that's good like that and coming here there you go. That's good. Great. I'm going to move this dark color also to it, the end over here. Okay. That looks as pretty good. I'm going to have more red, just the red. I'm going to move the color in over here. This 
area or the drive it looks like a bit uh drive which is look like uh like a light red color so i want it to be a little bit richer so you have to fill in the red so that's as good and make it even richer and also think about maybe this is too much blue so i can put the red over here push the blue color a little bit away from here and this is good put the blue the red color move the blue a little bit off they're actually very good already okay so i'm going to soften this just use the clean brush soften that a little bit this is good make the edge a little bit softer and i'm going to actually use this to tip up this brush as I go moving moving i'm going to remove a little bit red at the top here and make it feel a little bit lighter like that that's good a little bit lighter okay that's very good and the edge over here i'm going to soften that maybe a little bit smoother a little bit smoother like that perfect all right now i'm going to come back to just give this a little bit gray color like just the mix of the blue and the red color right so i'm going to put that right here now this the good time because this already drive the top and the bottom already drive it looks like i need to even make it darker i'm going to have that little bit darker more that's good now you're still seeing it but it's not jump out to you now come back to take a look again at the top pepper here we can have a little bit more red to it so i'm going to just take the red color and if you want you can have a little bit yellow and the yellow would make it about yellow orange or red orange color right i'm going to have this little bit yellow mix in now i'm going to put this over here the yellow making the color always look brighter so and i'm just going to take the yellow directly put it at the top here okay that's good all right I'll come out a little bit more and this side a little bit softer over here and see that that's a little bit soft color a little bit lighter okay this is good watercolor definitely can make anyone a lot more patience and since this is still wet, I want this color coming up, merge into more in the cast shadow. In that case, I'm just going to take this color, okay? Not a lot of wet, okay? Just a little. There's a little gray, um, not really that dark. I'm going to have this coming, touching at the bottom. Okay, right here. Now connect it. Now the, the dark color on the top of the paper it now merge into the top over here that's what we want have it a little bit feeling a little bit softer but not bring too much water to the pepper okay just using the tip pointing to down so the top over here has just no pink at all so it's just more like a, a, a blending tool okay that's good like that very good and now it's very important. I'm going to get a little bit red over here. I'm going to just take a little red over here. And this is good. I just a clean brush now. Just soften this. This is good. Like that. That's good. Oh, look at that. Now it's very beautiful in that area. So I'm going to soften this a little bit, not much. Okay, that's good. All right, now look at the cast shadow down over here. It's perfect. We don't have to do much about it. Now it's just time to work in the area of the green stem. That's is pretty easy. It looks like a little some yellow green color, right? So get a little bit more yellow over here and then get the present blue and and some friends on uh in the comments asking about 
Now, what color do you use? Can you tell me? Show me the product on the website. And trust me, I have the link in the video description. It just go click on the link materials. Okay. Oh, there's a little bit red in it, so I don't want this color look a little bit dirty. I'm gonna take a look at on this side more pure blue color. That's good. I'm gonna take the color not on the red, but the area that has no red. Okay. And after the painting, uh, when you have the time, uh, relax. You can just uh, use the tissues to dab on it, and it would remove the red and the blue color from the yellow. Okay. That's good. All right. Let's start painting. From here, you can start from this dam over here at the bottom and look at that and right in the middle of this, okay, like this, coming up a little bit and right here, a little bit twisting, that's good, a little twisting like that, that's good, and coming up, okay, that's good, now I know it will be come up over here. So I'm gonna just put the brush down like that, put it down and then start moving it the whole width and coming here. Perfect. And we're gonna add a little bit darker shape in the shadow and it's gonna be wonderful. Like that. I'm gonna do the same thing over here. So start from a little bit later, okay. Pretty easy. When I take a look at why over here, you're gonna see a little bit skinny shape, like that. A little bit skinny shape. It is is good. Now coming over here, and this is look like a little cone shape at the bottom here. This is good, right there. And leave a little light shape if you want, but there's not that light. It's coming up. Now we can see it star should be star over here. So I'm gonna put that like this, a little triangle, and take a look. Not really that wide. Okay, a little bit coming. Okay, that's good. Push it down, get a little bit thicker. Perfect. That's beautiful. Now I'm gonna to come to mix a little bit darker. So still get a little bit yellow, get a little bit thicker, and then use a little bit blue it's okay to have a little red in this blue because it's gonna be darker okay here we go and now coming back over here let's get the corner over here okay like that and that's one shape just coming down like this that's good and moving that shape coming down like this this is good, can be a little bit darker. So I'm gonna get a little bit more blue again. Okay, this is good, a lot darker. Get the yellow. And take a look again. I think this is pretty dark. Okay, not like a toothpaste, okay. But it's thick enough, so you can see. I'm gonna reshape the brush. So I'm gonna have this tip a little bit darker. That's good. And over here has the line a little bit darker. That's good. Pay attention. Okay, that's good. And on the other side can be a little bit lighter. So I got a reflection. Okay, a little bit light coming over here. That the bottom over here is still wet because this is good. I'm gonna have a little bit darker over here at the bottom. That's good. Like that, you see more three dimensional. Okay, that's good that okay now coming on to this one this one is also very easy okay and here i'm going to draw a little bit triangle like that the bottom over here a little bit darker now i'm going to put it here there's the shadow side and coming over that's good a little bit coming up over big okay the bottom over here is still wet so is okay. I'm going to come a little bit darker over here. So a little bit, they have a little bit light in the middle. Okay, right there. Yeah, like that. A little bit like that. Come up a little bit. 
come out a little bit as well. This is great. And then I will call this painting as finish. If you also like oil painting, you can see how I paint this in another YouTube channel. The link is in the video description. I will see you in my next video.